Good morning, folks. Today we look at major storm effects, watches for what's coming next, and we're going to rewrite some facts about the Milky Way. We're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and finding extreme quiet. No sunspots or solar flares or CMEs and even the solar wind here at Earth died back down the last 12 hours and all is calm in geospace. However, things are heating up in the atmosphere below. Hurricane Willa is not just a concern for Mexico. Arroyos to the north will see major surges tonight and the flash flood threat marches eastward thereafter with the re-intensification potential in the Gulf before slamming into Hurricane Michael's previous damage zone. Across the water, the model forecast changes every time I look at this typhoon, but for now, we can say it is heading westward towards Taiwan. Let's look next to Italy, where the footage that came in yesterday showing the weekend hailstorm and flood in the capital city was very impressive. There was knee-deep water and hail in many of the streets, and in some cases, the inundation refused to stay outside. Cleanup continues. Up next, they found dark matter. No, just playing, but these imaginative theoretical concoctions are the best they've got. Indeed, despite the shocking title, this is yet another bit of math and assumptions and models and guesses, none of which tend to reflect reality. Up next, we're at Mars, where new data suggests there was indeed significant oxygenation of the early Martian soils and water, which means that the planet could have potentially supported life much more easily than scientists had previously believed. Now we're going to change the way we think about the Milky Way, even if only slightly. We are starting with the galactic center, zipping all the way into the inner regions where the faster motion, hotter temperature, extreme photoionization, and magnetic fields drive exotic and unfamiliar science. In this case, it's the fuzziness of our vantage point being stripped down to molecular clouds, hydrogen, and carbon monoxide. Not a bad three elements to have in the mixing bowl. The center of our neighborhood is beautiful as seen by Alma. But now let's come back out to our position in the galaxy, and at some point, most of us end up wondering, how far away is the galactic center? How fast are we flying around it through the galaxy? A new paper using the proper motions derived from these recent launches and surveys tells us that we are slightly further away than we thought. Somewhere between the 8.1 kiloparsec distance that was believed, up to about 8.5 kiloparsecs in reality. As for our speed, we were thought to be orbiting around 230 kilometers per second through the cosmos, but that's actually probably a bit low. We're more like 240 to 250 kilometers per second, meaning that we are moving a bit faster than most scientists believe. That would be approaching a million miles an hour. Folks, be sure to come back later today for a special video recap on the planetary electromagnetic status. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.